Hi, I'm Rebecca from Nicole and Rebecca Conquer Books, and I just read Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chang, and this is a great graphic novel about four girls in the 80s fighting time travelers. So I've read Saga, and hopefully you have too. That's another series by Brian. And I had heard the name Paper Girls, but to be honest, I wasn't really interested because Paper Girls made me think of something frail. Um, but then once I finally saw this cover, I thought, yes, this is a series I have to read. And this is about four girls who are literally paper girls. They're delivering the newspaper in their community. And the morning after Halloween, they group up together to try and keep each other safe from the crazies to deliver the newspaper. But very quickly, they realize that it's not just trick-or-treaters who are left over from last night. There are these individuals roaming their neighborhood, stealing stuff, causing mischief and mayhem. And the more and more they learn about them, the more and more monstrous we see them to be. The character development in this is good. Erin is the central character and she's quickly dubbed the new girl because she's the newest girl to take on a paper route. The other three girls teamed up the previous Halloween so that they could deliver their newspaper safely. Um, there's Mac, who is a cynical girl who was the very first girl to take on a paper route and essentially paved the way for the others. There's KJ, who goes to private school and plays field hockey. Um, she often used her ho hockey stick as a weapon throughout the series. And then there's Tiffany, who's a techie. Um, she's the girl who saved up all of her Christmas money to spend it on advanced walkie-talkies that the girls use throughout the book. This definitely feels a lot like Stranger Things. It's more about time travel than the paranormal. I read issue one and I quickly moved on to the rest of the series. Issue one came out in 2015 and it is set to end this year. Um, in July, it will end with issue 30. I'm on issue 25 and I did that in the matter of days because this series was so fast moving and so compelling. I hope you read it soon. Bye!